The officer was in state court today, a day after pleading guilty in federal court to using excessive force. Body camera footage shows Eric Huxley kicking a man in the head while he was handcuffed on the ground. CBS 4's Kaylee Schuyler explains the local charges of misconduct and battery. What do we do? Stand up, fight back! A loud roar from protesters outside the Marion County Courthouse as suspended. IMPD Sergeant Eric Huxley had a virtual hearing. Uh, Mr. Huxley, can you, uh, can you uh, let us know you're here? Yes, sir. Huxley's attorney, John Kotzman, did all the talking in today's proceedings. Huxley is facing official misconduct and battery charges in Marion County. You can see in the video officers arresting a man for disorderly conduct in Monument Circle. The man is on the ground with his hands cuffed behind his back. Huxley approaches and stomps on his face. The suspended sergeant is currently without pay. If I were to go up to somebody and curb stomp them, you know, I would be taken away the same day. Uh, Eric Huxley was allowed to remain free for a couple of months. Today's pretrial hearing comes after Huxley pled guilty in federal court to violating the civil rights of a man being arrested by using excessive fight force. Back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back! Protesters outside the Marion County Courthouse want Huxley to go to jail. So the guilty plea isn't surprising. I hope that the prosecutor here in the state case uses that guilty plea to, you know, effectuate a conviction. I really don't want to see charges dropped in this case. Huxley's lawyer called today's federal hearing premature due to that guilty plea yesterday. Judge Stinson has not yet set the sentencing here, but is expected to set that for sentencing within the next 60 days. Today's conclusion, a status conference set for July 11th and hopes the federal case is finalized. That will give us the parameters that should allow us to work out the state. Huxley faces a maximum of 10 years in prison. In Indianapolis, Kaylee Schuyler, CBS 4 News. Now, IMPD is facing two separate lawsuits related to this case. One was filed on behalf of the man who Huxley arrested for use of excessive force. The other filed on behalf of two IMPD officers present at the time of that arrest. Those officers claim the department discriminated against them for reporting the incident. The officers are also seeking damages. You can read more specifics about this case on CBS4Indy.com.